So the one lecture we had on nutrition was the Canada's food guide. And I remember arguing with the person being like, this isn't right. Like there, there's more to this. And then, then the nutritionist who was teaching us was like, no, this is what the endocrinologists teach us. This is what the American Diabetic Association says. This is what American Heart Association says. This is what we have to follow. And I was kind of just like, this is crazy. <laughs> so that was my first like kind of moment being like, okay, there's obviously something going on here. This is just this is just odd. Why aren't we learning more about the root cause of disease when we know there are interventions that can help to reverse it? And so that's what kind of led me during medical school. Yes, I was studying allopathic medicine, which is medical, like a doctorate in medicine. But then I was also studying functional and integrative medicine. So I was just kind of, that's what I used to read for fun, basically. And I don't, I, first of all, I don't know how you had any time to read <laughs> anything else in medical school, because that is brutal in itself. When you finished medical school, did you do, um, what kind of residency did you do? I just did general practice, but then I did- Is that family medicine? Yes, exactly. But then I went into sports medicine, which is kind of its own two-year yes. fellowship training. And I worked under Dr. Anthony Gallia, who's kind of the pioneer of something called platelet-rich plasma injections. I have a question. Is it was he is he Italian? He is. He Malta. is Italian. Malta, yeah. Okay. Malta. I think, so that gentleman has quite a reputation. He, has, he sees a lot of athletes mm -hmm. that are- um, I believe, um, under the radar, not saying under the radar, maybe a better way of saying is there's a lot of individuals that go to him that maybe don't publicize that. 